on this episode, we'll be talking innovation. I'm your host, Gary B. Well, all right, it's official. The first snow of the year has fallen, but that's not why we're here. I'm here to talk about innovation. This is one of the most thrown around terms that there is today in schools and in business. But I think it gets thrown around a bit too loosely. So my goal for today is to pin down exactly what it means and what it doesn't mean. Let's start with what innovation does not mean. Using an app or a website to do work. Using a platform like an LMS, a learning management system being student or consumer centered, or using online resources. So yes, these things will improve the quality of the process and the outcome of learning or building a business or a product, but they absolutely should be done in the first place. So now that that's out of the way, let's look at what innovation does mean. Here's the definition. The key is that innovation is something we do to make a better future. It's all about the future. It's about coming up with new projects, concepts, and services that will radically change the way we go about our daily business one day. So what does innovation look like in practice? Take Snapchat, for instance. Snap changed the way that people engage with one another on social media. It's been so good at bringing this change about that Facebook and Instagram seem to be copying their model. And for another example, let's circle back to the drone. I used it at the beginning of the vlog to give some geographic context to demonstrate that we got our first snow in New Jersey this weekend. Now that's not totally innovative. A good storyteller should be giving context with whatever tools he or she has available. But if I use that same drone to teach geography or topography, that's something that really hasn't probably been done before and it would change the process of learning. That is innovation. I'd love to hang and chat, but I've got to One hour later. So this week on The Daily Teach, we'll be exploring innovation. I'll be visiting with a good friend, Dr. Sheehy, to do some VR. We'll be doing gameplay with his students. We'll see just how innovative VR might be.